hello how you all doing trust you're staying safe please do continue to stay safe my name is Ms. daniel okay and today we'll be considering the first topic on our screen which says active voice and passive voice could you say that after me active voice and passive voice again active voice and passive voice okay moving on we have some learning objective here okay at the end of the lesson you should be able to number one you should be able to define active voice and passive voice you should be able to define active voice and passive voice you should be able to talk about what an active voice is you should be able to explain what a, what a passive voice is okay you should be also you should also be able to state the patterns of active voice and passive voice that is the formation of active voice and passive voice to be able to give examples of active voice and passive voice okay moving on what is an active voice okay um voices are under verb okay and we know that a verb is an action word or a doing word so voices is divided into two which is the active voice and the passive voice so first, what is an active voice? A verb is in the active voice when it's formed, shows that the person or thing denoted by the subject does something, or in other words, is the doer of an action. Okay, now what do I mean by this? What this actually means is that it's the subject in a sentence is the performer of an action. The subject in a sentence is the doer of an action. Okay? The active voice is so called because the person denoted by the subject acts. The person denoted by the subject acts. Okay, so let's move on to what the passive voice is. A, verb, a verb is in a passive voice when its form shows that something is done to the person or thing denoted by the subject. Okay, unlike the active voice where the subject is the performer of the action, that is, the verb is the, is the subject, is the doer of an action. Yeah, the passive voice, the, the subject here is the receiver of an action. The subject is the recipient of an action. Okay? The passive voice is so called because the passing of thing denoted by the subject is not active but passive. That is, suffers or receives some action. Okay? Now, what are the patterns of both the active voice and passive voice? So, the first is the pattern of an active voice. What is the pattern of an active voice? First, we have the subject plus the verb plus the object. Okay, the first is the subject plus verb plus object. For example, the sentence, the dog chased the cat. The dog chased the cat. The dog in this sentence is the subject. Dog is this sub in this sentence is the subject. Chase is the verb. The cat is the object. Now, in this sentence, the subject is the performer of the action. I said earlier that an active voice, that an active voice, the subject performs the action in the sentence. Okay, in this sentence, the dog chased the cat. The dog here, the subject, is, the, is performing the action. And what's the action? The action here is chased. Okay, the action here is chased. And what's the object here? The cat. So the dog chased the cat. I hope you're following. Let me go. Let me go through that again. I said the pattern of, act, of an active voice: subject plus verb plus object. The subject in this sentence is the is the dog. The dog chased the cat. The subject is the dog. Chased is the verb. Okay, chased is the verb. Why the cat is the object? So the subject here performed the action. Performed the action. That means it chased the cat. The action here is chased. Okay, the dog chased the cat. Another, and okay, the next is the pattern of a passive voice. It's a pattern of the passive voice. The pattern of formation is the subject plus was plus the participle. That's the past participle plus by object. The cat was chased by the dog. The cat was chased by the dog. Okay, so what's the subject here now? The subject, the cat becomes the subject. The cat becomes the subject. The cat is receiving the action of the of, of, of the verb. Okay, the the action the, the cat is receiving the action 
year. So the cat was chased by the dog. The cat is the subject, chase is the participle. Why the dog is by object. So let's move on. Um, this is a chart, a simple chart of the active voice and the passive voice. The chart of the active voice, and the passive voice. Now, here, you can see here voice, voice is divided into two, the active voice and the passive voice. Under the active, what subject does. Active explains what the subject does in a sentence. What the subject does in a sentence. Okay, under the passive, it focuses on the action. It focuses on the action. For example, let's look at this sentence Ram killed Ravan. Ram killed Ravan. The subject in this sentence is Ram. What action did he perform? What action did he perform? He killed. So, who did he kill? Okay. Who did he kill? Ravan. So here, Ravan is the object. Killed is the verb. While Ram is the subject of, of, of the sentence. Okay. So Ram killed Ravan. Ram is the subject. Killed is the verb. While Ravan is the object. So moving on. Passive. Moving on to passive. Ravan was killed by Ram. Ravan was killed by Ram. So yet Ravan acting as the subject, is receiving the action. Ravan here is receiving the action of the subject. Ravan is receiving the action of the subject. Okay? So, more examples of the active voice and the passive voice. A parent helped her in completing the project on time. A parent helped her in completing the project on time. That is an active voice sentence. Okay, under the passive we have she was helped by her parents in completing the project on time. A parent helped her in completing the project on time. A parent here is the subject. A parent is the subject. So what is the verb? Helped. Helped. So so, so the performer of the uh, the performer of the action here is a parent because that is the subject in the sentence. Why helped is the verb. In the section, in, 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 the, in the sentence, that's the action. The action is helped. Apparent is the subject. Why helped is the verb. So in the passive, it becomes she was helped by her parents in completing the project on time. She was helped by her parents in completing the project on time. Okay. Another example is the active voice. I am learning English from an expert. I am learning English from an expert. A passive voice becomes English is being learned by me from an expert. Another example of the active voice we have, they handed over, over to me the basket of fruits. They handed over to me the basket of fruits. The passive voice becomes the basket of fruits was, was handed over to me by them. The first Sentence here, active voice. They handed over the basket of fruit to me. They here is the subject. That's the performer of the action. The performer of the action here is they. Okay? They handed over the basket of fruit. They handed over the basket. They handed over to me the basket of fruit. In the passive voice it becomes the basket of fruit was handed over to me by them. I hope you are following. So let's look at the last example here under the active voice. John is buying a new laptop. John is buying a new laptop. So the subject of this sentence is John. John is the performer of the action. And what is the action? Is buying. Is buying. What is buying? That's the object. A new laptop. Okay, so John is buying a new laptop. John is the subject, is buying, okay, is the verb, and a new laptop is the object. I want you to understand, remember that in an active sentence, the subject performs the action. That means the subject is the doer of an action. 
okay now in the passive voice now a new laptop is being bought by john a new laptop is being bought by john so now a new laptop is receiving the action of the subject a new laptop in this passive now is receiving the action of the subject okay i i want you to take note of this while dealing with the active voice and the passive voice you do not change the tense the tense must remain the same you know we have different tenses in english grammar okay in verb we have the present tense we have the past tense we have the present continuous the past continuous the future continuous and you know we did this you know in our first term we did this second term as well we talked about tense the tenses used in passive and active voice remains the same it doesn't change it remains the same so while converting a voice from active to passive you ensure that you do not change the tense okay the tense must remain the same the tense does not change okay let's take for instance this last example john is buying a new laptop john is buying a new laptop john is buying a new laptop this is a present continuous tense okay john is buying a new laptop this is a present continuous tense so a new laptop is being bought by john so in this sentence the the, the tense does not change you don't change the tense okay very good so that will be all for now on active and passive voice I want to thank you for listening thank you for following and i hope you understand what you know what i've been taught so far what i've been talking about talking about active voice and passive voice i really hope you understand and if you have any questions just pass those questions across to me through the whatsapp and i'll attend to them thank you very much for listening please you know please read your books don't play you know attempt all assignments given and attempt all assignment given and do the right thing keep staying safe i really wish you and i hope to see you soon